I'm sure most of you are aware of the standard stock plugins inside of GarageBand, but are you aware that there are some extremely powerful plugins? They're a little bit buried. They have real meters, real visualization of the compression and some of the things that are available you might not know about, and that's what I'm gonna show you how to find today. So when it comes to the list of plugins, you guys are probably used to seeing, you know, all of this stuff right up here, amps and pedals, this list right up here. I wanted to point out a fact that there is a bunch of much more powerful plugins with some visualization tools that are much more advanced than your basic compressor that's in this window or whatever, okay? Okay, so if you come down to audio units, go up to Apple, this is the list of plugins that I'm talking about. These ones in particular are extremely powerful and the most powerful of all of the GarageBand plugins for lots of reasons, but I'd say the main reason is for stuff like, well, let's look at the multi-band compressor. This is a very functional thing. Um, so here it is, and this is the song that I released on Monday. Um, and let's just take a look at it and I'll push play and just so you can see what this thing looks like in action. So I hope that just by watching, you started understanding what this particular compressor does. So this is a multi-band compressor. Depending on what bands you have it set to, it will compress specifically that area, right? So like when I was on band one, this is, you know, all low end stuff. So when I started bringing in or bringing out rather this control right here, the threshold or the, and the headroom control, um, you could hear all the low end go away, right? So here it is again. Uh, I got to push play. Dinner at my favorite place. Learn the brand new person staring at my face. Jumping through the same loops that I have before. Working through my stories that are not a bore. Learning about the things that make a person. The really, really nice thing about a multi band compressor is, well, exactly what I described. So if you have a, a sound, a vocal take, um, that maybe there's like a range in a vocal, just, you know, every now and then when he sings that one note or that one word, you know, that could be me easily. Um, and you would like to squash that a little bit just to get rid of uh, any sort of characters in a recording that you don't want or might be accentuated uh, in the frequencies, right, in the EQ itself. And you're finding like, I would like that EQ to be there. I would like that quality to be there. Like at high end, I would definitely recommend this in like high and high mids is where I tend to use the multiband compressors the most. Um, it's just one of those things like you want the clarity of a certain take, right? But sometimes you might want that clarity to be brought down just a little bit. Uh, and it's way easier to do it with a multiband compressor than it is to just, you know, notch out or have like an automated EQ happen in that moment and a multiband compressor this is by far one of the most powerful ones in GarageBand, one of the most powerful plugins, okay? So let's keep going. I'm gonna show you some other ones. Um, again, down to audio units, back up to Apple. Uh, the other one that I use a lot is the Dynamics Processor right here. Now this is a basic compressor, but it is very, very nice to have an output level meter with dB increments on it. It's one of those missing components of the main window of GarageBand, but uh, fear not, there are certain plugins that actually give you some real world information. Uh, so let's just keep going here. I'm gonna keep pushing play and I'll you know, just work this one a little bit for you. Should I go the extra mile? 
Now, of course, I have dropped this into the master bus. Um, so this is processing everything. This would be a great uh, compressor for if you have a vocal that is particularly loud in a certain area or a guitar track or anything that's like the recording is pretty smooth, but all of a sudden you hit an area where like, oh, it's just really, really loud there. And you don't necessarily want to use a volume automation move there. Dynamic processor, that's the thing. You can just shave off the top of that high dynamic, right? Um, again, with an output level meter on it, so you know exactly what it's doing, exactly how much is being brought out in that moment. And then the visualization tool, uh, just in general, the way that it visualizes what it's squashing. And the controls, I mean, couldn't be more basic. There are only two, basically, in this. You know, you can move uh, this one, the threshold roommate, uh, roommate, headroom, <laughs> threshold at roommate, and this one right here, uh, which is the, this is the headroom control, and this is the threshold control. So, um, yeah, you have tons of control, even with these two basic options, you can really do a bunch of good stuff with this Dynamics processor. In general, though, um, there are a few in here that I think are, so those are the first two, those are the ones I use the most. Um, a uh, another one worth mentioning to you guys is this guy right here. This is a good parametric EQ. If you need a notch filter, this is what you're going to use. Um, I love this one. It's really basic. I mean, it's the regular EQ, but you can just notch it in and out, and it's it's just a great way to find offending frequencies or and and you know find them properly and then omit them as you need. It's got a nice narrow Q on it and um, just a really good tool. If you want to go a little bit deeper in and find a more before I say that. Oh, here it is. This is the EQ. Um, now this one, it, it is, you know, good old fashioned faders on each individual uh, frequency range here. But this is truly like one of the most powerful EQs in GarageBand. Super, super narrow Q factors. Um, but you can really find very specific frequencies with this. Again, use it as a notch filter or, you know, if you want to find that one little, you know, tone of the guitar pick on the strings or whatever this is the thing you can do we can really really hone in in a much more specific way with the eq um that other one also great really basic the one i showed before that's a very easy to use basic notch filter is maybe not the right term but it is a very easy way just because of the way that that particular eq works you can just slide it left and right and boost and cut as you need um, it makes it a lot easier to find a lot of times if i'm trying to find a specific frequency that I want to work in this EQ, I will use that previous one, go back and forth, listen for it, and then I'll come back into this one and I will, you know, just notch it out as I need. Um, this is a great one. You have the option of reducing it down to 10 bands if you want. Um, and then the flatten EQ is always a nice button if you do, you know, you go around and uh, you mess it all up and you're like, oh, that's not better. Oh, you can also grab multiple ones at a time if you want. You know, this is a great one. I love this one. And then you can hit flatten EQ and boom, it all goes back to normal. Now, uh, the last one I'll show you, and this list, you know, you guys all have this on your GarageBand uh, OS. I don't know about iOS if this has it or not. Um, oh, well, let's, let's say there's also a good pitch control thing in here if you want to just affect you know, one note or a couple of notes of a vocal take, and it's like, it's just a little bit tiny flat or a little bit tiny sharp, you can make a separate channel, isolate those notes, drop it into that channel, and then with this particular tool, you can just bring it up a few cents or down a few cents as you need. Um, now, okay, so the last one, because I don't want this to be too long, and, and obviously this is just me showing you plugins. Um, one of the ones that I like to use, but I think is a little on the overly complicated, is this one right here. This is the AU Matrix Reverb. It's a really great reverb, um, but the amount of controls on it, uh, I think it's a little bit overkill. You know, it, it really depends what you need, what, what you're doing but this is a really nice hidden reverb. This is probably one of the best sounding reverbs in GarageBand, this Matrix reverb. It's just a great one. I mean, and this is what it sounds like.
I love this EQ, truly. And it is something that I have dumped on an entire mix before. I haven't used it in a while, but every now and then I pop it out and I'm like, this is such a great little EQ. Um, you have all sorts of fun controls in here and it, it can get a little daunting, a little bit confusing if you start, you know, going too big into it. Uh, my advice is, you know, find exactly what you need. <laughs> Obviously, find exactly what sounds you need. You want a small room, a large room. Um, you can EQ this reverb. As far as I'm aware, this is the only EQable reverb in GarageBand. And you don't have a huge amount of control over that EQ, but you do have some EQ control over a reverb. Um, if you don't know, it's always great to be able to control the EQ of your reverbs. Um, the classic Abbey Road trick, for example, where you sort of bring out all the high end and all the low end of a reverb sound. So it does sort of come back as mids. Um, it's just a different way of doing things, but it is the Abbey Road reverb trick. Um, but anyway, these plugins down here in this list, you guys, this is where the real muscle is inside a garage band. So I totally encourage you to go through this list one by one on your own. Um, there's good distortion stuff in here. There's a good delay in here. The delay is really nice in here as well. Um, these are the big boy toys inside a garage band that nobody ever talks about in any garage band tutorial as far as I know. Maybe somebody's touched a little bit on them, but um, I just wanted you to be aware of them as garage band and beyond viewers. And uh, so I hope that sort of, you know, get your juices flowing to go back into your garage band program there and dig around and find some new stuff that you might not even know was there. So uh, yeah, get to it, you guys. Go play. This is the powerful stuff. This is the stuff, man. This is what the pros are using on Logic. This is the same stuff. All right. So that's it, you guys. Have an awesome day. I'll talk to you very soon. Peace and love.